you, Lord, that, this, that in this time of bereavement, in this hour, we can rejoice in the Lord. As we are together now, comfort each one and quicken every one and supply our every need. Comfort, strengthen the family, all the whole family circuit, all the friends, be with us and speak to our hearts. Amen. Amen. Our text today Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. I'm reminded of a girl, a beautiful girl. She was the only daughter of the family. The family was well to do. They were rich. They had everything this world could offer. She was very gifted. She had many talents, even from childhood on. She was the eye of the parents and friends. When she went to school, she was the chosen one. She was the first one. Everyone was around her. When she got to university, when somebody was chosen for something specific or a special place, it was always her. And when the time come, came to choose a beauty queen, she was chosen. She found her parents, she got her mother, and she says, I've got good news for you. I'm, I'm going to be crowned as the beauty queen on such and such a day. And the mother said, oh my child, your dad will be thrilled to hear this. As soon as he comes back, I'm going to tell you, uh, tell him, and I want you to know, we are going to buy a dress for you for that special occasion, and it won't be a cheap one. So that day, day came. To make a long story short, she was crowned 
After a few hours, they said, Please excuse us. We've got to drive for a few hours. It's a long way. And we we'll leave you and you can carry on with the party. Abazali Bachis Kolele Nganiamis, Putimutis Trives, Shaila Amahoram, Ammaningana, and Deleni, Sizohamba Manja Sukshie, Gotwa Kubegani Nin and Jabule, Mtimbin. When they got home, it didn't take long, and the telephone rang. Umasebe Fige Kaya Bazali, Katanga Skati, Wakadu Ting. So the mother, mother went to the phone. Umama Wahamba, Weo Pendulu Ting. And the person on the other side said, Are you the mother of so and so? She said, Yes. The person on the other side said, Are you the mother of so and so? And the people went home. Your daughter drove home to where she stays. And on the way, she was involved in an accident. And I suggest to you that if you still want to see her, come as quickly as you can. They raced to the hospital. The matron was there to meet them in the car. She took them through to the girl she had a swollen face. She lay there. Many bones in her body had been broken. Her mother went on her tiptoes into the room to her bed and bent over her and said, Dear child, we have come. I've come with your dad. Umama was Sunday, Laganane, and a Hambigaku, go to a Yang and was Sunday, let us one petty wake, was figure what he, Mdanami, says Figile, Mina, no Babawako, Sessicon. She opened her eyes in Tombazania Vulameto, and she says, Mum. In actual fact, she said, Mama, in spite of being in America. Mama, I want to thank you. You've ta taught me good manners. What mama in Tomazania to go, mama, mama, the Abongaku, no good to unfundi say in Tony for a mamena the Amati. How to live, go to Pilaganjan. How to light a cigarette. How to lift a glass of wine. But Mama, there's one thing you didn't teach me how to die. Please tell me now, for I am dying. The mother couldn't speak. It was as if something had closed her throat. Then she said, Mama, please be quick. I don't know how to die. The And the mother didn't know what to say. And shortly after that, she closed her eyes forever. May God grant us that 
in this service God will become more real to us and that we'll be prepared to meet with him at any time kwangathunkulunkulwa ngasiza ke kuyo lenkonzo yena mhlane siqonde kabusha futhi ukuthi sibe ngabantu abalungi abazilungiselele ukuthi sihlangane naye noma ngasiphi isikhathi death to his saints is precious to those that are right with god but those that are not right with god it's something terrible ukufa kuyigugu kwabancwele bakhe uNkulunkulu kulabo abalungiselele nabazilungiselele ukuhlangana naye kodwa kulabo abangazilungiselele kwinto enzima kakhulu John said he'd like his funeral to be like a wedding celebration ujoni wathi uthanda ukuthi umngcwabo wakhe ufane nomshado umcimbi womshado but if a person hasn't prepared and made right with god it's the worst thing that can happen kodwa uma umuntu engazilungiselele ukuthi ahlangane nonkulunkulu isikhathi esinjengalesi kuyisikhathi esiyobanzima kakhulu but even if we are christians it's still so inside and we feel it noma singabazalwane kodwa kubuhlungu eyindlizweni zethu siyakuzwa futhi and our tears are close by izinyembe zezethu seduze emahlweni ethu and we heart broken broken izinhliziyo zethu zidabukile i remember when my father passed away kumbula ngesikhathi ubaba wami edlule emhlabeni my eldest brother brought the news to me i visited him every day in hospital mfuwethu omdala wafika zomtshela lezo indaba mina bengijwala ukumvakashela esibhedlela usuku nosuku and then in the morning before i could be there he passed away ngalolo suku ngaphama ukuthi ngifike mina esibhedlela ubaba wadlula emhlabeni my dad had a special place in my heart ubabo benenhlizi ubenendawo enkulu enhlizweni yami if i be overseas i count the days so many days left and i'll see my father uma ngivakashela phesha yabe ngibala izinsuku ukuthi sekusele izinsuku ezingakanani ngibuyele ekhaya ngibona ubaba when i received the news i was heartbroken and i cried ngesikhathi ngithola izindaba zokuthi ubaba udlulile emhlabeni ngadatshikelwa inhliziyo ngakhala the next week i had to go to europe on a preaching tour ngesondela elilandela lapho ngangizoya ephesha ya europe ngiyoshumayela I said I can't go my father has passed away my heart is broken I'm going to cancel the tour Kathi ngeke ngikwazi kuya phesheya ubaba udlulile emhlabeni inhlizwe yami dabukile ngizovele ngilikhansele ngilinqamula uhambo lokuya phesheya Then something happened Baba khona kwenzekayo I had a dream Baba nephupho It was as if I stood on a huge plain uba sengathi ngazibona ngimi ethafeni endaweni endalekile and i saw a car coming straight for me ngabona imoto nansi iza isondela kini and the soon as the car came i could see the driver and the person sitting next to him uma isisondela imoto ngangikwazi ukubona u driver umshayeli nalo muntu ohleli eceleni kwako ka driver And when they were here I realized it's my father and I said dad I thought you had gone Uma sebe sondele ngabona ukuthi ubaba lo okule moto ngaya ngatha ubaba bengicabanga ukuthi udlulile emhlabeni And he just opened his window Wavuli windi ubaba And he said son don't keep me back I'm busy serving the lord up there wathi indodana ungangibambezeli ungangivimbi ngimatasatasa lephezulu ngikhonza inkosi ngikhonza uNkulunkulu and he told the driver carry on wathela umshayeli wemoto wathi shayi zule hamba and there i stood alone ashamed but those words of my father 
washed away my tears. And I don't think that I shed another tear. The words of my dad ringing in my heart. Oh, no, don't keep me back. I'm busy serving the Lord. Kasala lapho ngimile yahamba imoto zasuleki ngembeze emehlweni ami kodwa lawo mazwi kababa nanamhlanje manje wakhumbula ayangiduduza enhlizweni yami lapho babathi khona eh ungangibambezeli ngitetele ngihambe ngoba ngikhe ngikhonza uNkulu Nkulu mina uyangiphazamisa Dear friends death for a Christian is not fatal Bahlobo abathandekayo ukufa kumzalwane kumuntu okukholwayo akubona ubuhlungu Death for a child of the Lord is not final. Those who die in Christ are not dead. They are more alive than what we are right now. Jesus comforted Martha and Mary. When the brother had passed away. And Jesus spoke to Martha. And she replied. Jesus had spoken about the resurrection. Martha replied, I know he will rise again in the re resurrection at the last day. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? We are called a local now. I would like to use an example of D. L. Moody, the American evangelist. Those words of our Lord that the one who believes in him will live even though he dies. Reminds me of this famous American evangelist, D.L. Moody. Realizing that he would soon be gone from this world, one day Moody said to a friend, Someday you will read in the papers that Moody of East Northfield is dead. And he said, don't believe a word of that. I shall be more alive than what I am now. I shall have gone up higher. That is all. Out of this clay, old clay tenement, into a house that is immortal. I'll have a body that death cannot touch. 
that sin cannot taint. A body fashioned like unto his glorious body. He said, I was born of the flesh in 1837. But I was born again of the spirit in 1856. And he said, that which is born of the flesh may die. But that which is born of the Spirit will live forever. That is what Moody said to his friend. And this is how Moody lived. He lived expecting the return of the Lord at any moment. He said that always when he was to preach, he told himself, Dwight, before you end the sermon, the trumpet may sound. Always when he preached, he reminded himself that Jesus might, might have returned before he ended the service. Now I like to tell you how he went home. Jesus didn't return with the sound of a trumpet to him. In 1899, when Moody was 62 years old, he went on a preaching trip. And when he got to a certain town, he didn't feel well. After preaching his last sermon, he was very ill. It got worse till he realized that he wouldn't be able to finish the tour. So he went home. That evening as the sun set, he decided to go upstairs to dress for supper. As he was climbing the stairs, he struggled, but, but dragged himself along. And decided not to go to supper, but rather lie down on his bed. As he was lying on his bed, his son Will came and sat next to him. And then Moody said, the earth is receding and heaven is drawing nigh. His son said, Dad, are you dying? Or are you dreaming? He said, no, I'm not dreaming. It is the truth which I am saying. 
wathi indodana angiphupha kodwa iqiniso leli engilikhulumayo but he said if death is like this it is wonderful it is beautiful it is sweet there is no valley no difficulty if death is like this it is glorious kodwa wathi uma ukufa kunje ngalokho engikubonayo nalokho engikuzwayo kusho ukuthi kuhle kumnandi kuyajabulisa uma ukufa kunje ngempela kunenkazimulo ngiyajabula kuyangijabulisa ukubona lokho among his last words were this is my triumph this is my coronation day i've been looking forward to it for years amanya mazwa washo ngesikhathi esedlule emhlabeni wathi lokho kungukunqoba engikubonawo njengamanje lokho kungukhweswa umqhele lokho kungukonyeliswa engikubonawo njengamanje bese kunesikhathi eside ngikulangazelele lokho kuba ngingene kukho this old world has long since lost its charms for him and for a long time he had been homesick for heaven lo mhlaba lo wawusulahlekelwe noma yena wayeselahlekelwe injabulo yokuphila ahlale kulo mhlaba kodwa izulu kwakuyiyona nto eyayiseduze eselilangazelele izulu ukuthi afike kulona he continued to say i've been in the gates i saw the shining faces of the children wakhubeka wathi bengikhona emasangweni ngibonile ukukhazimula kobuso kwezingilosi noma kwabantwana abakhona le He died about 7 a.m. December 22 1899. What shona exen what December 22 ngo 1829 with a note of victory. Edlula emhlabeni kulelo note naleyo ndawo yokunqoba. He reported to have said such things as heaven is getting closer. Leo lo mbiko lo oyawusho ngaleso sikhathi wokuthi nanti izulu liyeza liyasondela kini God is calling me Unkulunkulu uyangibiza This is my triumph Lokho kungokunqoba kwami This is my cor- coronation day Lolusuku kusuku lokuthweswa kwemqhele kini It is glorious God is calling and I must go No pain, no valley, it's bliss. That is how God took him and he passed away. He was expecting the trumpet. But Jesus came to him in a different way. He came to fetch him not with a second coming. But through sickness and death. He can come with a trumpet. Yeba ngafika uJesu ngokukhala kwecilongo but he can come through death as well kodwa ngafika futhi ngokufa ngaleyo ndlela then death is the trumpet ukufa kuphenduke kube yikho ukukhala kwecilongo kuwe moody changed his preaching tour he had arranged but the lord cut through all his plans and he said if death is like this it is wonderful umuti kwathi ngukuthi alinqamo luhambo lwakhe lokushumayela wabuyela ekhaya kodwa ngesikhathi uNkulunkulu esemlandile wathi uma ukufa kuyilento engiyibonayo kusho ukuthi kuyisimanga kuyathokozisa i've said that death for a christian is not fatal ngishilo ngathi ukufa kumntwana kaNkulunkulu akiyona into eqakile inkinga The Bible says death to a Christian is gain. If Bible is tell ukuthi ukufa kumuntu ongumzalwane kaNkulunkulu kuyinzuzo because Jesus 
is the resurrection and the life. Those who die in Christ are not dead. They are more alive than what we are. That is true of all those who have been redeemed by the blood of Christ. Who have been changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. Dear friends, it would be good if each one of us here today would check, check our own lives in the light of eternity and ask, Am I ready to die? Even if God should come to me unexpectedly. Am I one of those whom it is said that Death is gain to them. No loss. Have I prepared myself? Have I put everything in my life and in my past in order? With God and my fellow men that no stone has been left, left unturned. Dear friends, let us not leave this place without being absolutely sure of this. This is one thing which none of us can afford, and that is not to be right with God. He can come to any one of us any moment unexpectedly like a thief in the night. I've mentioned how marvelous it is for a Christian to leave this world having right, made right his life with God. And death, dear friends, is something every one of us has got to reckon with. The Bible says, as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after that, the judgment. It's appointed unto men. God has appointed that day for you. The day will come when every one of us will have to die if the Lord hasn't re returned before that. Dear 
Don't forget it. Appointed once to die, after that the judgment. It is appointed. God has appointed that a man must die once and after that the judgment. You may think it's still far away, but then it's today. Sometimes very unexpectedly. I remember an American man who said that he had the cure for death. He spoke on TV saying he has a diet will, which will cause you to become 140 years. He spoke about it and about the food that one should eat. Then something amazing happened. When he had finished his broadcast of the diet, which would cause you to live to 140, he fell down and died. The word appointed is a very interesting word. It means to fix a point or to arrange a time. God has arranged that time, dear friend. We don't know who will be the first one among us to leave us. That's why David said, Teach us, God, to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. In closing, I would like to remind you of the Samaritan woman asking for that living water and Jesus said, go and call your husband. And she says, I haven't got a husband. Jesus said that she was right. She had had five husbands, and the one she had at that time was not hers. She went out and told people that Jesus had told her everything that she had ever done. And she said, has Jesus told you what you have done in your life already? Has you met with the dear Lord Jesus? Don't tell me that you have met with Jesus and he didn't tell you everything 
that you have done up to now. Ungangchele ukuthi usuhlangane nenkosi uJesu Kristu kodwa ingaza ngikutshele konke okwenzileyo kuze bebe manje. Do you know what it means to meet with Jesus? Uyakwazi ini ukuthi uchaze ukuthini ukuthi uhlangane no Jesu. The day you meet with Jesus, he will tell you everything that you have done in your life. And if he doesn't you haven't met with him yet. Inkosu Jesu mohlangana nayo izokutshela konke okwenzileyo empilweni yakho kuze bebe manje uma kungenjalo awuhlangananga nayo Jesu. I would like to tell you now in closing. Ngithanda ukuthi ngisho lokho ekugcineni. Pray that God will show you what you have done already in your life. Thandaza ukuthi uNkulunkulu akuvezela ukuthi yini osuyenzile empilweni yakho kuze bebe manje so that you can confess and forsake it. For it is appointed unto men once to die, but after that the judgment. Are you prepared for that day, today, and right now? That is the question which you need to answer. So death to the saints is something wonderful. But those that haven't made peace with God, it's a terrible time because you'll find hell with the mouth wide open to swallow you forever and ever. Kakhoke ukufa kuyiguqu kwabancwela abafela kuyena uNkulunkulu kodwa kulabo abangazilungiselele ukuhlangana noNkulunkulu abangayilungisanga indaba yabo noNkulunkulu ku ubuhlungu obunzima ngoba isiqoqo sobe sikulindile sivule umlomo waso uba sikugcinye sikufake busona. May God bless you all. Kwangathi uNkulunkulu anganibusisa nonke. And may he grant us ears to hear. Thank you.